Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we found out we had the opportunity to go fish in Alabama with our cousins for Red Snapper. Never fished in that area before, but I've heard a lot of good things. First, I'd like to introduce you to my cousin Drew, who's kind of setting up the whole trip. Alexa, call cousin Drew. It wouldn't be Alexa. Siri, call cousin Drew. <laughs> Kayla, call cousin Drew. <laughs> That's about all I got. As y'all might have remembered, cousin Drew came down to the Keys along with some of our other cousins, and we fished for dolphin about a year ago. Cousin Drew's a lot of fun. I like bouncing ideas off of cousin Drew. I've been thinking about making our mascot a dinosaur, Drew. What do you think? The real hazardous mascot is going to be a dinosaur? Makes sense, right? I'm thinking a raptor riding a dolphin. A raptor riding a dolphin? Yeah, holding a fishing pole. I don't know. I thought about a T-Rex, but they don't have big enough arms to hold a fishing pole. He told me he kind of likes to keep a low profile, but we were able to convince him to be on one of our episodes, A Real Hazardous. Uh, you know, I like to keep a low profile, man. Well, we, no we, profile. We, 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 you know, we won't make you too famous. I mean, you're on a baseball card. How low profile can you have? Fun fact, Cousin Drew used to be a baseball player. Played for the Bulldogs and then played in the minor leagues. He even has his own baseball card, which to me says, you're famous. Nobody would know about it if y'all wouldn't post pictures of it. <laughs> It's a lot of fun uh, when Cousin Drew and, and all of our family really get together and we start talking about old fishing stories. I actually heard some fishing stories that he and my dad had, um, quite funny, <laughs> that I hadn't heard before. Hey, you've never lived life until you found a fish with your father and beached the boat and run across the street to the 7-Eleven by a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen, too. Too hungry. <laughs> Three for a dollar. Of course, that wasn't as good as the ones down there in... Cumberland, what was it, like five hot dogs for a dollar or something? I think it was the, what, what do they call them things, the red wieners or something? They were nasty. Did you, did, I feel like you paid a higher price than three dollars for those. They just, they just glued a couple of hot dogs and sausages together. It keeps you regular, that's all I can say. I've been slapped by a fish before. Father and I got slapped by a man. Really? He hung up in our anchor rope and was pulling us out to sea. I mean, literally. <laughs> I remember one time someone posted a video. We were shrimping on this guy's dock. And they posted a comment. They said, a bunch of rich guys trying to act country. I was like, what are you talking about, man? That ain't my house. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know who owns that house. Yeah. We snuck out on it. <laughs> Keep it quiet. It was hard to get on that dock. I'm not supposed to be there. Those are the same people that probably like watch our van and say that ain't his real cousin. <laughs> he probably never even played baseball. Yeah, they're probably like, that ain't a real baseball car. <laughs> we came up with a plan, and when the dates came, we began the journey out west to Alabama. I was actually kind of concerned whether or not we'd get to go on this trip. You see, a week before, a tropical storm came right through Mobile Bay. So I was like, man, is it good? Are we going to be able to get in? Is the place we're staying at even, you know, okay? He, Drew sent me a picture, as you can see, uh, quite a storm surge. So it was a little concerning, but uh, they said we're good to go. So we went down there. Actually, while we were down there, you could see there was still a lot of sand in the roads that had washed over. So they were still doing some cleanup, but uh, thankfully at least we could, we could get down there and try to do some fishing. Hey guys, we are on the road, heading to Alabama for the big fishing trip we've been talking about. Kayla has been working on lunch. We are trying to find a place to stop for lunch. Obviously, it can be hard to do with a 30-foot boat. New route, so we're just trying to learn what's around. I think we're going to try the next exit. Looking forward to getting there doing some fishing in the Gulf of Mexico and uh, seeing old cousin Drew and the rest of the cousins. It was a pretty long trip. 
I did find some ways to kill some time. Talking with my brother and sister. Called up my cousin Tammy. Left her a nice long voicemail. You know, trying to find stuff to do. Hey Tammy, it's your cousin Jeremy Thern. Uh, we are headed to Alabama now. I just called to see if you were heading to Alabama now. Actually, we're in Alabama. I forgot we just crossed over the line. Um, I was talking to Kayla a minute ago. She's in the car in front of me. Um, so if y'all are driving, if y'all are like bored or something, just give me a call back and we can talk talk to each other. I'm, I'm not sure what time zone it is. If you're on East Coast time, it's 4.35. That's what we usually work in. Otherwise, I think that's all I got for now. If I think of something, I'll give you a call back and uh, we can go from there. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye. A couple minutes to stretch. Get this bad boy filled up and uh, be ready for an exciting day on the water tomorrow. Alright, we're ready. Yeah, the real hazardous is kind of like under underwater. And we're here. But we finally made it there. Felt good to get there. Drew made it as well right behind us. He brought his boat and uh, we did some car shuffling. Got all our things unpacked. You know, big process of any long fishing trip. And now we're good to go for our first trip tomorrow morning. On the east coast of Florida, we don't get very many days to catch red snapper. Uh, this year it's like four days. The year before it was six. And there's tons of fish. And it's just a madhouse. I mean, it is insane. Alabama does it much better. They have a lot more days and they spread it out over, um, I think it's like two or three months. And it's like every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So um, it wasn't like it was on the East Coast out of Florida, but it was still pretty crowded. The boat ramp was pretty backed up. In fact, my dad checked it when he came back to pick the boat up. He had to park a mile away from the boat ramp. Alrighty guys, we are in the water, and we are looking for bait, just like we do in Florida, looking for pogies yeah. in Alabama. You know, keep a lookout for anything flipping. You might can run on down some. Okay. Yeah. Um, which way will I be? Uh, just kind of yeah. straight? Yeah, hang a this way, but you don't want to cut back. Okay. A couple birds over there. Not pelicans, but uh, they're kind of circling. Unfortunately though, maybe because of that storm, I don't know, uh, we just couldn't find any bait. Uh, no pogies around, couldn't get any mullet. We checked some of his usual spots. Didn't mark any, didn't see any flipping. So we headed out to our first spot. And we get to the spot and it's uh, pretty sloppy. Alrighty guys, finally got to the spot. It was windy, a lot of white caps, rough. Drew, now might be a good time for that speech you've been working on. If you fall over, swim north. North. No way. Towards the beach. Towards the beach. <laughs> Just for a visual reference. <laughs> In case you lose your compass. Swim towards the condo. We just try to drift over a couple times. Yeah, I can I can power drift a couple of times just to just see. see. Yeah. What you want? Cigar man, if you use them whole or halves? I think we use them whole and hold them up high and try to catch a big fish off the top of that stuff. We're on some like artificial reef. They're like pyramids, what they call them. We get over it and it marked pretty good. So imagine there's like a bunch of these pyramids plotted yeah. all around. Yep. Right, it's nice and calm. Yeah. Should have been flat by noon, right? Ten big snapper, guys. Ten legal snapper, even in this weather. I've heard some people like using frozen baits better because the little fish can't peck it off. You ever tried that? Yeah. Big fish think it's a pot pickle. Maybe fish get hot too. You never know. Okay, I'm about on it. Bait pot over there or no? There's one right now. See. Do yeah, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I mean, I think they should still go down with their, uh... Oh, yeah. I mean, I just think you right here doing theirs. Cousin Drew is hooked up. Another body big fish. They look good, don't they? 
Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. That was a good marking. We're right over the structure, Christopher. Probably a little bit above it. You got some bait, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Might be a little bigger than the normal bait. Is that okay? Okay, we're, we're drifting over the spot again. We could just get a good piece of cut bait, but it'd be good, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, probably would if we could get anchored on it. If we, if we hold. Okay, Dad. We're starting to mark some bait. 20 to 40 feet down, pretty thick. Better one, Drew? A little better, still not a keeper, I don't think. Yeah, They're high in the water column, though. Whoa, whoa, did you see that big shark? Was that a shark oh. after him? Oh yeah, that was a shark. Well, that, that may not be why there's, <laughs> we had not got any bigger fish to come up here. Well, yeah, I guess it could have been a dolphin. It was, it was big and gray. Dolphins, oh, like, yeah, really it's right a dolphin. Here. Oh man, it's a dolphin. Oh man. So much for that snapper. <laughs> Porpoise or what? Porpoise. Yeah. yeah. You want to anchor? I think we're going to have to. It was so windy and rough, I couldn't really hold them on it. We decided, hey, we need to anchor. That's the only way we need to be able to sit on this spot. All right, guys, we got anchored up. Should hold, hopefully. That's a big one. Anchor? Uh, sure, thank you. Drill mix. I have them all, they get up, get off. No, I think that dog is good. We're right over the spot, so that's good. I had one too. Pork out a snack, that should help us catch some fish. There we go. Anybody want one? Sure. Are those those butterfish? Butterfish. Nice. Maybe not. 16, right? We jigged up a variety of baits while we were on that spot, like butterfish, got a few, I think, uh, pilchards, some cigar minnows, stuff like that. But we also brought some dead cigar minnows to drop down, which is primarily what we were using. Oh, that's a better one, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be 16 for these. Uh, probably 18 or... Ah, oh, dang. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Caught him twice, babe. Yeah. See, we weren't very far out where they get the big ones. It was so rough, you know, first day out learning the area. But, you know, we were working through them and we were catching some snapper, which is good. So the gulp worked. Got a snapper. I hold him right up to the camera. He looks huge. He won't even fit in the shot. I wonder if that dolphin goes to that other boat and then the fish start biting. Sierra's on a big one. Oh, he's coming. Oh, it's a snapper. Legal snapper. <laughs> You've had like the two biggest snapper the whole trip. What's up, Major? <laughs> I don't catch enough fish to know how to open it. Pretty rough out here, but uh, our anchor's holding, that's good. And we're slowly getting our red snapper. There's this dolphin that keeps coming between us and another boat. And I think what's happening is the fish stop biting when the dolphin comes by because they don't want to get eaten. So the bite's kind of on and off. And it seemed like when the dolphins would come in, the fish would kind of slow down on the bite, and they'd go back out or move to another boat, and the fish would start biting again. All right, guys, made it back. It was a rough day on the water, uh, pretty bumpy out there. Fishing was kind of tough. We couldn't find the live bait like we wanted, but uh, we made it back. We've actually been out there on the water right along the beach looking for some live bait. We caught a few. Let's we'll see if we can keep them alive and use them in the morning. So uh, round two will be in the morning. Hopefully it'll be a nicer day offshore. We can go out and get some of the bigger snapper and uh, just have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.